<laughs> there you go, it's not a bug. Hashtag yeah. always blame Dawn. <laughs> yeah, blame the elves. Blasted elves, can't take them anywhere. Hello and welcome back to the Realm of Insanity. I'm the Queen, K Power D, and I'm back here again with another fantastic dev tour, this time with the incredible Finn and the lovely Jeremy, who are gonna take us through one of the brand new dungeons that are coming out this year. Well, soon. They might even be out now. I don't know. Go play them if they are. Uh, I just got done doing the run and let me tell you this is a fantastic dungeon. I'm not going to waste your time by yabbing too much so let's get into the dungeon. I'm the healer so no pressure. <laughs> Alrighty, now we're here. All right, let's let's head down here. So you can see this is a oh, random rat. Uh, this is located in the southern part of the rift, which borders Cyrodiil. So we're gonna walk down here, and Kashargo right there is <gasps> Buddy. Uh, he's the former leader of the Scribes of Mora, and he's been usurped. Like I said, you go, ahead, you guys go ahead and get the quest if you want, and uh, give you a little context. Although uh, I see Kay found. Uh, Zillipiff. So this guy is actually a, a buddy of ours. He's uh, so, uh, watchers are traditionally the danger associated with Hermaeus Mora, and he so he's a friend of the Scribes of Mora, and he's going to help us. Yes. So I did see this part on your live stream. Yeah. And I saw a really really weird um, behavioral change as soon as you made this out to be a companion. That yeah. helps you because people see them and they go, Ugh, squiddy legs and an eye and yeah. everything. And as soon as you said he helps you, everyone went, Ah, yeah, it's exactly right. It's exactly right. <laughs> well, how it's context, really, is what it is. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's head through here. Okay. Um, so this is the secret entrance to um, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to talk to you, bro. I'm busy. <laughs> All right, that's what I like. Look at that. You know what's funny is we've killed this pack of monsters faster than we have in some of the other. It's pretty funny. Just thinking that. <laughs> uh, Zillipip is going to use his patented lock picking technique. Right there. He can pick locks. It, well, he spins in place and blasts the lock out. So that's, that's one way nice. to do it. Uh, I mean, that's picking a lock. <laughs> yeah. Uh, across the way there is uh, Riftmaster Nakri, and he's talking to Valina. So Valina is the person who took over no the, the Scribes of Mora, and Riftmaster Nakri is the first boss that we're going to eventually run, run into. Uh, and they're talking about something called the Itinerant Staff, and that is the traditional scepter or uh, badge of office for the Scribes of Mora, and they don't have it. So they took over the Scribes of Mora, but they don't actually have that staff. Uh, so they're looking for it. Now, Kashargo knows where it is, so he's kind of leading us to, to that place. Oh. But he's helping us! I love that! Oh yeah, Zillipip will help us for sure. He has little eye lasers that he'll help it out. Um, one thing you're going to see, I think, in this next group of, uh, of monsters is... Uh, we actually had them uh, already, but if you see these monsters using these uh, green abilities, those things, those are actual Arcanist abilities that players are going to get later on in, in, in the chapter. Let's see the, the tentacle nice. arm kind of thing came out. Yeah, They're going to put a, a that, that, that big uh, kind of AoE on the ground. Again, these are these are things that, that Arcanists later on in the year are going to be able to use for themselves. We wanted to like highlight it and show uh, Boilers. Uh, yeah, so, uh, some early uh, early test Arcanist abilities here. Dawn. So those Atros that we just killed, the big one, yeah. um, you felt that because you had the tank, we didn't. Is that as aggressive as the ones in Shipwrights Regret? Because uh, they hurt. Were you just standing They're and stupid really... or do you have Ring of Pale Order on? Who, me? <laughs> no, Dawn. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You did! <laughs> I was spamming this like, oh my god, help! <laughs> I was like, Dawn, why aren't you healing? Okay. 
I should have done that for the interview. <laughs> like, what? Kay, what are you doing? Why aren't you healing? <laughs> I was like, I swear, I'm using onto the dead. I really am. <laughs> okay, you're We're such a to bad find out how healer. They hit. Yeah, you're such a bad. <laughs> We're dropping you from the stream team. <laughs> If you had died right then, I would have been mortified. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, I'm no. Literally oh, there we go. As I said that. <laughs> so Make yeah, those uh, those astronauts, if you don't kill them, they yeah. will explode. So okay, wow. that's where I was going with that because yep. the, the ones in shipwrights regret you did um. Make a point of showing us a very familiar enemy, but making them hit ten times harder. So, I assume that they're going to be equally yes. as aggressive. They are. They are. They are going to be. Uh, uh, they're going to hit hard. Yeah. Thank All right. So we're coming up here on. Oh, where you get that? Brighten this up. Mm -hmm. on the All right. BTS. Uh, we're in Riftmaster Nakri's uh, library. So this is a pretty cool library. It's really tall. You can see kind of like the wealth of knowledge that these guys have uh, have done in here. And this is the oh. boss base. So as we walk up here. He's going to summon these three books. These are telegraphing abilities that he's going to use. And I'll explain them so that you, because you guys have jobs to do here. Yay. Uh, okay. So uh, the most important parts here that we're going to have is he's going to summon three books. Depending on the book, we get different effects. So if he summons a green book, a phantom will appear next to every person and it'll put a growing AOE underneath you and you have to dodge roll it. Okay. Before it goes off. Uh, if he summons, and that'll, that'll repeatedly happen until the book, we, we force the book to go away. If he summons a red book, a phantom will appear that will do an interruptible. If he summons a white book, a phantom will appear that does a blockable. When the book is summoned, it will shoot projectiles off into the library where it will highlight some books that need to be put back and interacted with. So you guys need to do that so you need to follow where the projectiles are kind of going off in the library find the book it should be easy to find once you're there and uh put the books back in order to end that ability if we don't do that we just go ham on the boss he will eventually summon all three books and while the books are out we we already take uh we we, we take repeated damage over and over so once you have three books it kind of be overwhelming so yeah okay. so that's your job uh when they come out okay let's do it uh, I don't want to put any pressure, but we have not wiped yet on this encounter. Of course, we haven't done it in vet, so. Which well, is it might be a little harder. Yes. I love the book natives. They just look so cool. Yes, the book natives yeah. are really, really cool. Can you jump them? Ooh. Right anyway, dodge. Whee. Yep, the green guy's out. in the corner. So if you see the projectiles going off into the uh, library, yeah, yeah, run out, uh, run out there and go and uh, find the books and put them back. Uh, healer, you're gonna want to pay attention to people running off. Why have a card that you tell me? I'm gonna die here. Yeah, oh, that's what it's like. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're in multiple spots in the library. Okay. So. Thank you. Dog! No! I got you! I got you! I got you! I'm good! You're good! <laughs> I got you! Hail order! <laughs> I love how it makes you use the entire space. It does! Yeah. It's pretty cool. There's a book thing, uh, block attack there. Yeah, I got it. That's really a tank blockable kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot like the volcanoes we've done in, in like Blood Root and stuff like that. Oh no, please leave me alone. Oh, this is a red book? Yeah, I can. Got it, got it. Yes. The red book. Oh, we have both. We have two books up, so this is going to get pretty. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, you guys just went ham on the oh, boss. Projectiles going off into the library. I'll go yeah, you want to go follow oh, those. Gosh. Oh no, 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 no. Where's the projectiles? Oh, there's a red one. You'll see him. Hey, look back the way we came. Book. Got it. Okay. Yeah, we do need the green. Oh, we got all three books up. Ooh, there you go. Oh, go. And that's what we happened. Died again. Yes. Of course. Oh, no. <laughs> all right. So now, now, you, now you know the importance of making sure we get to the books. Yep. Yeah. So we are following like the book tornadoes into the library, right? 
No, no, no. there's a it, no. when, when, when it has the like when the green book is up, you'll see green projectiles shoot off of the book off into the library. Oh, okay. So you just kind of look for where that book is. I'll pull him a little bit away from where he's going to summon the book so that you guys can see those a little bit better. All right, let's got we got this. A game now. Let's equip the A game. A game equip. And there's two projectiles, aka two books per book he summons. Yes. Probably run off together, get one, and then run he, off together. He does not have a book up, and now he's summoning a book. And it's the red book, so it's going to be the interruptible guy is going to appear next to you. You can shoot off the projectile. Yeah, yeah, I see, I see. Okay. Whoop. Got it, got it. Not the book Oi, later. I'm coming. That hurts. Whoop. Yeah, they hurt. <laughs> hey, did you get one? I got one. Uh, Dawn died. I, I got some death, as, as usual. Uh, oh, oh, I no, think no, I stood no, no. in a thing. Well, it's... You both went two opposite ways, so I was like, oh, I need to pick a side here. I'm good. <laughs> oh, no, no! <laughs> Keep dying! To the codex. Got the red. Oh, Dawn's over there. Oh, I bet you. This dude dies. Don't you dare. And can you? Yeah. I, 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 uh, there you are. Back for rest. Come over here. Have a buff. You get a buff. You get oh, a buff. You get a buff. Lovely. Merry Christmas. Uh, so, uh, nope, no book yet. Here he's gonna summon another book. This is the white one. So this is gonna be the blockable. Got him. Learning that this dungeon is not good for AoE healer build, which is my build. <laughs> <laughs> but I will figure it out, there we go. I just have to run a lot. I'll have to equip my stamina potions, it'll be okay. Where the hell is the book? Green books are out too? Oh. Yes, green is the dodgeable one. Die. I'm gonna die here. No die. No, no. I'm trying to see where the book Wait. was. I'll oh, come I'm back. trying to see the book. No. Oh shoot. I still haven't even seen the book. Okay. Let me... Ow. No, stop. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, no, no! Suggestion. Cheers. Oh. Oops. Something that just murders me as soon as I get up. Owie. Everything hurts. I mean, where's the book? Oh, yeah, I've got it. Got it. No, I don't. I don't have no resources. I mean, so two books is generally bad. Shots. Yep. So you want to? Oh, oh, come on. Okay. So we got the blockable guy out here, and we have... Oh, flip! <laughs> oh, oh flip. man. Oh, man. So, I can see where the books are. We're getting to them without heals on two books is tricky. Yeah. yeah. I'm so dead. Yeah. All right, fans. No pressure. You're <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We got it. <laughs> Third time lucky. This one will be Pretty the one. one. <laughs> yeah, those. I see the importance of those books. I, yes, um, uh, I might so, go uh, for them. Uh, if a I good can't, strategy but... will probably be uh, healer. Uh, just do one book at a time, and healer follow who's ever going to do the book. I'll get him, and then go off into the thing. I'll probably be able to sustain myself for a bit. Uh, so healer follow that person off, keep them healed, then go to the second book, and then come back and fight the boss. Because it's, uh, him triggering new books is health based, so um, yeah, we should be able to to you know go do the books and then come back. Yeah, and I think you do one at a time rather than two people running off. Uh, it probably end up being better. Yeah. And like I said, uh, what I think you were dying to, Dom, was um, those books while they're out, they do more and more damage. So <laughs> it's one of those things of like 
we get, we it, it behooves us to take care of them and and if we get multiple books up that's just more and more damage that we're gonna start taking so yeah i think we got this one book is a better yeah, idea because yep i am very much aoe heals <laughs> yeah sure and then you can have a little pocket healer though there you go way Third time charm. This is the book? White book's out? So blockable? This way. Uh, it's around the back of this room. Should be another guy out. There he is. Got one. There's one on the other side. Get off! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, what's, what's really cool is the, uh, uh, what did it go? In the base game changes, I don't know if, I don't know if you saw, I'm sure you did a, you did like a patch notes review. I did. Uh, but the, uh, I, it's, no, it's tough to, to understate the, uh, the importance of and the block uh, swap. tanking changes. Oh yeah. yeah. That works so much better. Block swap and, uh, the, uh, it takes five, uh, bounces where it, it goes taunt immune. Yeah, yeah. Super huge. Uh, I absolutely love it. Red book is up? Yep. And this way. Left Let first. me know when you're gonna run off. Okay, I'm coming. Running, running. I left some AoEs for you to eat. Go. Just one. Now, this is working much better. One. I feel much more comfortable with this. <laughs> I was like, I can only be in one place. Oh, oh no, I spoke too soon. Ah, it's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Never say it's going yeah, well. I had my old Go. I'm sorry, I was... <laughs> I should have learned by now. Oh, I'm disoriented. I accident accidentally pushed the character button, as you do when you're in a panic. <laughs> yes. All the time. Oh, we had like, somebody the other day just constantly opening their inventory. That was good. I kicked someone from a trial by going into my res uh, button and holding it and moving. Yeah. So I actually up. opened up the, the radial menu instead and out. removed them on the last boss. <laughs> Oops. Where's the green? Oh, Straight over. Go on, go on, go on. Oi! I got ya! Thank you. There's one. See the other one. We're using strats Got now, it. are we? I Look see. Look at that, working. <laughs> see, I'm a good healer. I just can't be in a million places. <laughs> God, this is miles away, man. <laughs> Where did you go? I don't have. Oh. Put some of the books in Gratwood. Right. <laughs> He's nearly He's dead. down. He's dead. He's dead. When we get more books, he's still dead. He's no, we're not getting any more books. He only does three books. Uh, what health percentage are they? There, he's dead. Hey. He's a I, mean, I can do <laughs> that again. Wow. Strategies so, work. Uh, so we learned. That was a challenging fight. <laughs> and now you can see kind of like uh, what we uh, we were going for there. But we defeated Riftmaster Nakri. It's no match for us on the third time. Once we stuck uh, together, we defeated. No wipe. <laughs> yeah. And now we're going to, get to go under this really cool statue from Aes Mora. My boy! Uh, forces you to block and roll because yeah. some people still struggle with those basic things. I know I do sometimes. Oh, like, yes. Situational awareness and <laughs> that kind of thing. Uh, so, uh, one thing that's cool with this is we're heading down the Deadlands path. So, um, Kashargo has said basically that the itinerant staff, which is what we're here to get, is in the Deadlands Rift. And whenever they open a rift, or something, uh, the the kind of the the, the given uh, danger plane that they're from bleeds in a little bit. So you can see parts of as we head down to the to the Deadlands uh, path, you can see like the lava flows and stuff like that here, kind of bleeding into the area. But we're gonna see the rift here in a second. Okay, it's right past this gate that you see there. I'm gonna admit I keep looting stuff. I know, no, it's like, fine. Why I, am I bouldering? I, I, I have the. Uh, uh, me and Jerry were talking about that the other day. I have the opposite thing because I play so much on our development server that, like, I just used to not looting, so I have to remember to do it on live. <laughs> uh, I've been. I think I went through half of Rock Road one time before I started looting. Whoops. Yeah. 
Uh, so Kashargo's gonna come in here and this one guy gets his last shot at him. But Mizandi, his friend. So Mizandi is still a loyalist to Kashargo. Kashargo can't go on. So he's going to say, hey, Mazani, go into the Deadlands and get the itinerant staff. Why the itinerant staff is important is because no matter where you are in Tamriel or a Daedric plane, the itinerant staff can return you to Scrivener's Hall. So it's a pretty important piece for these guys. And let's head into the Deadlands Rift here. He is fearless. Who, Zillipith? Zillipith yeah. is the best. Uh, so this will seem familiar. We are actually in the Deadlands. So if you've done Blackwood of Deadlands, if. Uh, you'll recognize some of this stuff. I want Zillipith as a So, uh, Zillipith will use his abilities to kind of help you out, but not only that, we also now have Mizandi. And Mizandi does the same thing, only she has different abilities. She uses ice magic. Um, and you'll, so you'll see every once in a while, uh, monsters just kind of get frozen in place. Uh, and that's her kicking up. She also drops comets, like she just did. Um, these cool things, as you guys know, we, we like to put in uh, stuff that for people that don't want to just go boss to boss to boss to boss. Mm -hmm. um, secret side secret content, that kind of stuff. And green tunnels in the middle of the Deadlands. It seems like that might be a good uh, thing that you would want to explore if you wanted to go off the beaten path. But we don't need if to... If we were uh, to put them like that. If we were to do that, yeah, yeah. Uh, also, these little bugs you can squash. Um, and they give you a little bit of a speed boost. That may be important. <laughs> uh, for the upcoming boss fight, yeah, that guy likes to, that guy likes to charge. That's a, that's again. Uh, we, we like to see there's something uh, to get knock and discover. We like to telegraph some stuff before it'll kill you. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'll uh, we'll go over kind of like what the next boss does when we get to it. You've done that quite a bit with some of the more recent stuff. Like the yeah. telegraph used to be just big circle on the ground, don't stand yeah. stupid. Now they give you kind of a warning for some of them. Yeah. Yeah. So if you look over there, that's an infernium uh, introduced mm -hmm. in the Deadlands. That's actually the next boss that we're gonna go to, and he's the one who's kind of carving out these tunnels. Um, and we're gonna get to him in a bit. So that'll be the next boss. But we still gotta get through some of these guys. He is now called the very hungry caterpillar. Yes. He ate a piece of cake, and he's still hungry. <laughs> I love his little. That's the universal animation. thing, and everybody knows. It. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> the the very hungry infernium. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a children's book in the Deadlands. Right. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. And then he ate Dino, but he, <laughs> he was did not. still hungry. <laughs> but he was still hungry. <laughs> right he ate. Oh. He ate one party of players, two books, three green things, and still hungry. Mm. That should be the end of your stats. Yeah. How many players has he eaten? Whoa. How, many, how many players has he eaten? <laughs> this guy likes to drop oh, ball. fire. So he's frozen in place by Mazandi. She, like I said, she has that ability to kind of do that. And he does not want to come over here. One of my John. Ooh, there you go, he's torn it down. I'm just trying to heal him one more. Oh, that's not like that. Oh. Ah. Right, that's bro. new. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's new strats. Back, Le like. Elite strats by Dawn here. Or by Kay. Okay, just right. healer things. <laughs> just healer things. Very <laughs> clear. Alright. So Always on the wrong the ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Altar of Anguish, so this is the next uh, boss. And I will explain a little bit about this guy before Rim. we get started. What is yep. he doing? Okay, so this is the Infernium I talked about. By the way, is there a boss room that ever looked as much like a boss this room as this room? This is cool as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like we need metal music playing. You've come yeah, to the right, exactly. The there should be a guitar riff when you enter. Yeah, yeah. thank you. <laughs>He's going to do a couple of abilities that I'll call out here. Um, first of all, I'm going to tank him, and what he does is he'll burrow underground and then appear somewhere else. But when he burrows underground, he leaves a giant lava pool. So part of the tanking challenge in here is to make sure that I position him correctly so that the whole room doesn't fill up with lava. Okay. 
Um, he's going to, you saw the green bugs earlier we squashed. He's going to do a, uh, an ability where he shakes off and all these green bugs appear in the room. Your guys' job is going to be run around and squash those because if you don't squash them, uh, they'll turn into bigger, nastier monsters that we'll have to deal with. And then his, his final ability is he'll burrow and he'll emerge in the center of the space. And when that happens, we all have to run to the outside of the room uh, because he's going to uh, uh, pull everybody in and do a massive explosion. And if you're too close to him when he does that, you're just going to get eaten up by a big fireball. So I'll call that out too. Also, when he emerges after burrowing, he'll put like a following, like a laser beam that'll follow you. Uh, you just kind of have to run around and, and make sure it doesn't hit you. Okay. Right Super so... easy. It sounds easy. Let's gar. Vampire boss and this is a lot of information that definitely went in my brain. <laughs> oh well, it's it's one of those things of like when you see it, you go, oh, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm definitely a visual learner. So this is more the than uh, yeah, right. I'm a visual learner, right? <laughs> so he's gonna emerge here and he's gonna put this uh, lightning beam. So just run around to avoid that. Ah. I'm gonna drag him back over here. So that we can stack up these lava. Uh, so this is uh, blood reforged. There's, there's, very there's the uh, there's the bugs. Run around and squash push, all push, of those. Push. All of them. They give you a speed boost. Okay, this is fun. This <laughs> like picking up sweet rolls. Well, these dead squid. I noticed they're gotta go little infernium. They are little infernium. They're like his babies. You guys are squashing his babies. Do you feel better now? Yes. I can be the next one. Uh, Love. Take one home for Kay. He's gonna merge over there. Another uh -huh. laser beam. I have a, a merch request. Yeah. <laughs> Squish bug plushy. Squish bug plushy. <laughs> <laughs> and with a squeaky in it. <gasps> I think this is the middle. Nope. Okay. Still on oh. the outside there. Yeah. Laser beams probably. Yeah, this place fills up with lava, as you can see. Now, Mazandi is eventually going to kind of, with her ice magic, she's going to take care of some of these lava pools, so it's not uh, the worst ever. Bugs are out. Go squash them. Oh. So, does she squash um, the lava pools during health percentages or a timer? Player test. <laughs> Good job. We'll hit it. <laughs> <laughs> you took the risk yeah. too much. <laughs> Uh, this is in the middle, so run to the outside. Run to the outside of the room. Give me up. You'll see why in a second. Ooh. Ooh. That is it. <laughs> I will, oh. Nasty oh, that me. okay. Wow. <laughs> I like <laughs> it. <laughs> That's cool. So basically, if you don't like the last boss in BDSA, and you don't like the last boss in Bloodroot, and you don't <laughs> like the vampire with the laser beams in Castle Thorn, get good. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> have we got the boss for you then? Indeed. I think we're gonna. Uh, oh, lava pool. All the way on the other side, we're good. Laser beams. Here. Just, we got her. Yeah, yeah. Bugs are out, but I don't think we need to worry about them. No. Ah, there we go. The, that is oh, one of the coolest encounters I've seen in a while. That was fun. I like that one. Oh, Z. We got too it. hot to trot. Yep. Uh, too hot to trot. Yeah, there we go. So uh, she's going to grab the itinerant staff, and like I said, this can return you the dungeon, which Ooh. is what she's going to do. She's going to take us to the Magnus Stylus to study, which is Kashargo's private study. And we're going to get here, and Kashargo's not here. And we don't know why. Silipith is kind of uh, communicating to her that, hey, come follow me. Um, you can see this cool uh, contraption. I said that they, they kind of create Daedric Rifts and stuff in order to travel the planes, and this is one of the machines that they would use to do that. Uh, but as we travel here, if you, we have uh, some things that if you uh, paid attention to some of the other things we've done, you might see where the 
next rift is that we're going. Like me. This dude's pretty nasty. The 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 hollow armors? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yes, they are. They're traumatic. No! Oh, oh no! Next time it's an AOE, Are I will abandon it. <laughs> uh, no, this one's actually a bit harder. So you can see these uh, red crystals here. Now that rift over there is to the Spiral Skeen, which is Mafala's home realm. So we're going to actually get to go. We've been to, we've seen glimpses of Mafala's realm uh, in our game before, but we haven't really been to, been to Mafala's realm. So we actually get to go there coming up. Which is mm -hmm. uh, pretty awesome. You get to see some, you're gonna see some pretty cool stuff in uh, the Fallout's Realm. Many of me. Uh, one thing I will call out, uh, let's see, there, er, no. Uh, she, Mizandi will put down, now because she has itinerant staff, it, it uh, augments her abilities. So she puts mm -hmm. an ice trap down that we can actually drag the monsters into to freeze them. So it's not okay. just she randomly freezes a uh, person. She actually puts something down that we can use here. Uh, that Ready. was Zillipin block picking again, which is fantastic. Such good. He's so good at that. Can I, I take him has... with, into Dread Sada so I don't keep running out of lockpicks? Yeah, there you go. He's legitimately made up to 100. He's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so we're going to go into the Spirals game. When you go through here, do not walk forward or backwards yet. Wait till you get your vision, and you'll see why. There they are. Because oh. you're on this bridge. Uh, across the way there is Kashargo and Valina. Valina has obviously uh, captured him and is leading him off, so we're gonna have to track him down. But you get to look around and see what how cool Mafala's realm looks. Can you fall off? Yes, you could die. Oh, yeah. Us. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna warn anyone about this. I'm oh, I love it. <laughs> this is exactly how I imagined it would be. I don't know if Kay remembers. Yeah, I know, Dawn. I was just Kay thinking. It. <laughs> um, this is exactly what. Yeah, I can finally see it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go a little bit through here and finally see kind of uh, what it looks like. Uh, the web covered everything. The, um, yeah, uh, it was really fun to. to as a Zydras and as, you know, uh, talking to our world builder to to kind of uh, uh, imagine some of these spaces. And uh, there's webs on the ground, by the way. Actual oh, snares, noise. Yes. They're going to be using a fight, you're not going to tell us. Uh, we, well, I mean, I'll tell you when we get there. Uh, <laughs> cool. I'm getting... The ice, uh, the ice uh, trap that the zombie puts down is very important in the boss fight. But it's really important for the tank, so I will kind of handle that. Um, I, this is a good time to tell you I'm not a fan of Veladreth. Oh, well, that's good. You won't see her again. Well, you'll see more of Horvath. Over here, like um, her. you saw the green tunnels in the Deadlands. Those were kind of like side content, perhaps. And this, these kind of things, if you burn this away, that would be places you could explore and stuff. Ooh. We're not going to go down there right now. But if you're so inclined, later on. You can mm -hmm. investigate. Much uh, so. One note about the secret or side content in here is, uh, and you can get an idea for some of it if you read the achievement. It's uh, some of the most in-depth stuff we've done, so it's really worth it to. Uh... Oh shit! Oh, right now, of course I've got aggro. Why would I not have aggro? I'm I was. Okay, okay. I was apparently not blocking. I thought I was. Ah, you couldn't even say bar swap because you fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> like, why do I do oh. these? Kick him. <laughs> yeah, kick him. <laughs> Tink doesn't even know how to block kick. <laughs> Fake tank. I have noticed such an impact on the whole bar. So you see thing. this? We froze. We froze the Horvodadra here. Okay. Uh, yeah, by yeah, yeah. dragging it into the. Uh, Yeah, I'm glad she, you know, it probably is somewhere else in the game and I haven't paid attention to it, but calling those Horvadadras yeah. instantly tells me what the uh, valley actually is. Yeah, yeah. And I just don't have to keep calling a big spider witch. Big spider witch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're Horvadadras. That's exactly what they are. Uh, oh, that spider hanging up there is disgusting. Oh, wait. Wait. There's more. 
Wait till you get to this bridge. Now stop on this bridge before we do the next pool. Because now you get to Whoa. see some cool highlights and stuff. You get to see the spiders hanging off the bridges there. Uh, you get to see, there's a spider on the wall over there. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, this is cool. There's Look at that. The best. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, oh. <laughs> oh, it's going to freak people out. Oh, my God. Uh, Arachnophobia mode? Yeah, uh, yeah it, it is. The, but it's therapeutic because you get to kill the spiders. Yeah. Is this true? <laughs> it's beautiful. Maybe this will make me brave enough in real life. Ew, to kill the spiders. There you go. <laughs> oh, I got so distracted, I died. Watch out, two hands loose. Ill. Okay. You got the cages too. Nice. Uh, we're actually gonna get to the to the final boss here, um, right here, and I will call out something as we get in here. Which is really cool, just this. Ooh, this door's uh, awesome. Cape out, I definitely want you to pay attention to this as we go. <laughs> so, look up here, look up there. Uh, where am I looking? Mm. Ew! Dude, that is sick! <laughs> 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 no! I'm just gonna like no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Alright, so let me explain this fight. This is a three phase boss fight, but each phase takes place in a different arena. So Kishargo just got webbed and captured and torn off, taken off. Valina is going to teleport over there and she's going to, to hurt us. So the first phase, we're going to fight uh, Lamakai here. Um, if you see that web doorway behind uh, Lamakai, that will burn away at some point. Lamakai will go back into the rafters and that'll burn away. At that point, we have to run. We have to get to the next arena um, because everything's going to fill up in, with fire behind us. Okay. Like a uh, um, drive. Yeah, when we get to the next arena, uh, Valina is going to be there, and we're going to fight Valina for a bit, and then Lamakai is going to come down, and we're actually going to get a chance to defeat Lamakai. So, um, but when Valina is out, she will put uh, an ability on on somebody that will create a, a basically fire ringed tripwire around that person. If anybody crosses that tripwire, it explodes and does damage to everybody. Of course. Uh, and then. Uh, uh, Mazani is going to help us by putting ice traps down because Lamakai is going to enrage and I will need to drag Lamakai into the ice uh, traps in order to kind of quell her rage. And I'll call out when we need to run and then in the next section we're, it's the same thing, the walls will burn away and we'll have to run to the to the very next section. Okay. But uh, ah! Oh my god, good that's stuff. disgusting. Yes, there's the big, big, big spider. Oh, oh, the animation. Oh, it's yeah. horrible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's uh, baby spiders coming out. So she's in rage now. And I'm going to drag her into this uh, ice. And she gets frozen. And I'm actually going to keep her over here. So that if she enrages again, the ice trap will be... Baby spiders on me. Oh, Oh, no. Um, they will put a, uh, Valina will put, like, a little, uh, targeting thing over your head, which means that eventually that, those, see those raining fire AoEs? Mm -hmm. Those will, uh, drop eventually, so what you want to do is get away from people so you can drop them in the arena with the uh, gotcha. base. Um, it's frozen again. I'm gonna go over here. What you do is... All right, she's going up, so run to the back of the room. Back of the room. Let's run. go. Don't, don't worry about. about don't support. worry. Don't worry about the spiders that are dropping down. Don't worry about any of that stuff. Just go. Gross. I died almost every time during. Yes. <laughs> no way. It was Didn't like I, was I just I couldn't stop. I could not stop. So those are the trip wires. Just stay in place. Stay in place. Don't, hey, no. I'm that's in. what happens when you don't. <laughs> I was mid dodger. I literally just shouted it. My bad. Yeah. Now you know I saved my uh, my AOE res. <laughs> yep. Necromancer tanks are gonna be <laughs> amazing in this. I'm lagged. Yeah, actually, you guys aren't moving. So I hope I'm not dead. You're not dead. But Locked. Die. Turn left. Turn right. I've got you. Oh. 
Yeah, I'm lagging again. As you can see, I'm just standing. I don't even uh -oh. know if I'm blocking. Oh, no, no. Don't move. Ooh, okay. On fire. Okay. So these are the trip wires around us now. Is this them? Fire. There you go. Is that the that trip That's quite wire? straightforward. Yeah, you take damage okay. all the time, you're in it. Oh, you gotta get them up. Oh, no. Of oh, course I've got aggro. My bad, I'm aiming at you. Ah, uh, oh, why can't I swap bars? I tried to yeah, dodge it, but I, it moves like a dragon bar. Alright, you got this, no pressure. Wait like two I minutes. I did res you. Did it not res you? <laughs> fin, fin crash. Oh Keep no! Oh, I should have rezzed, I know. <laughs> no, we're good. The the breath mechanic, I can actually survive, but I dodge rolled around the room too much. You can kind of dodge between the hits if you've got enough stamina, maybe two or three times, but you can't move with it because it moves like a dragon breath. So I killed you. Rip. Rip indeed. Ripperoni, pepperoni, baloney. This, um, I, I would like to file a complaint against the coin that chose Let's this do dungeon. Something exciting. I didn't know that it was going to be disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. Sorry, it should have come with a uh, a warning. I, I genuinely, honestly, I know that there's people that would actually die at this dungeon, so maybe a little pop up. <laughs> This this dungeon contains very realistic spiders falling from the ceiling. They are a lot more dramatic than Cradle of Shadows. To say yeah, this. I can handle Cradle of Shadows. This is really pushing it for me, but <laughs> it's beautifully pushing it. I can appreciate, I can appreciate it, but it's it's, appreciating the it animation. gets me when they come down from the ceiling. That's what I don't like, and crawling down things. When they're like this, I'm alright. So basically being spiders. Yeah, when right. they're doing all spider right. things, that When they're doing spider out. things, I don't like it. I got you. <laughs> if they're just like <laughs> standing there and biting me, yeah, like, right. the animations are fine. It's the coming down from the ceiling. Or they skitter across and they feed on something. That's always good too. Ah, that's fine. It's the coming down from the ceiling or crawling right. up oh, the, by the way, Oh, that. Know. That's gross Ooh. too. The way it does the little fang thing. Yeah. <laughs> just have an arachnophobia like mode that replaces them with sweet rolls or something. Yeah. Easy. Whoop. Potato mode in the. Uh, so things. we saw uh, the second phase. Yep. But we did not see the third phase. <coughs> and that was mainly. We only really, we only really failed because I crashed. Yeah, and then I rezzed you because I didn't know you crashed. Find out, find I out. Being a <laughs> I'm gonna drop this. He's probably gonna drop an ice trap soon. Yep. Let's go over here. I'm about to have fire on me, so don't come near me. Uh, they'll take more damage when they're frozen too. Like the bullet in Black Drake. Yeah. Thanks. He's probably gonna climb up here in a second. Yep. Let's go. Go go go. Like its own little adventure rather than a stack and burn fest. Yes. Pretty cool. Ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> uh, uh, tripwire. Oh, yep, just stay there. You're fine. I learned my lesson this time. <laughs> <laughs> now I know what it looks like. I'll remember. Yep. Visual learner. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Oh, uh oh Oh, oh god. I, I was on fire. I don't know what that was. I'll get you in a second. Oh, you rezzed. Never mind. I can't swap. Let's get there. We go. Skills five, please. Yeah, that mechanic got me a minute ago. Yes, that one. That one. That's quite long. It's very. It's very much a tank mechanic. Yeah. Uh, when we work uh, Valina down, uh, Lamakai is going to come back. When Lamakai comes back. There will be bigger spiders that will appear on either side of the arena, <laughs> and they will web one person, and you have to defeat that spider. Otherwise, when that person gets brought to the spider, they die. Ooh, it's deep check. Get out of there. Stop it. Got a thing on me. Watch out. <laughs> Watch out! That was close. Oh, I, oh, oh, I knew. I saw her do it. I saw her ah, tripwire ah, it. Ah. <laughs> hey, what? Come and leave you killed me. 
<laughs> That's definitely less there. forgiving on veteran. It is very much less forgiving. You took it up yet? That was lucky. Ha <laughs> ha Watch out, don't come near me. Get away! Uh, Lama Kai is back? That was a yeah. power move, Zion. You just stood in that, like, yeah, come at me. <laughs> Alright, so yep. I'll, I'll call out with the, with the big Ooh, spider. Oh, itch! Oh, it spider came up right behind me. <laughs> and gonna web yeah, somebody? Hey, you gotta kill that spider. Yep. But there it's dead. Go. Now. Watch out, watch out. Hey! I didn't move! move. Oh. I didn't move! Uh, I, I did not move. move! I think I got uh, ice spiked or something happened. Did I get all three of you with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, it was you! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it wasn't me! On me, on me, on me. <laughs> get rid of the spider before I die! This is friggin' Ulfner all over again. Uh -oh. I'm gonna double, I'm gonna stab him, stab, stab it to death! Ah, ah. Oh my god, that was close! <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank Ouch. you! <laughs> I've never stabby McStab stab so much in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Those right, are the cats. When Kai oh, dies, we're gonna need to Done! Okay. <laughs> oh, no! Tripwire. Oh, no. Alright, well good, we're not gonna kill this guy yet, so... I was like, 51k. Spider. Another spider coming in. I got, you got me. <laughs> I'm gonna drag this guy over here, but then we're gonna need to run. There we go. Yeah. Uh, be careful in the next space. There's there's bridges, and you can die. So let's go to the right, back. There's bridges. Stay on the bridges. Watch for your step. Oh, oh God! Look at that, wow! <laughs> it burns behind you, so keep moving. It's like yep. a trial. I recently <laughs> turned up the DPI on my mouse, and I'm only just getting used to it. This is not a good time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Some things to note for this: Belina is here again. She will put the tripwires down. Not only that, she'll put a me meteor down, and that meteor needs to be destroyed, or it will do a massive knockback with rolling uh, uh, effects. Me which is one. Yeah, so one that meteor. Like kill it! No. Kill it with fire! It is fire. Otherwise, kill it with if ice! You don't kill it, it can knock you off this platform. Watch out, trip one. Oh, no! Oh! oh. oh. I need to kill me. Oh, yeah. You scared me. I didn't want to dodge roll then to stop the trip one because right? I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna go in the lava. It's uh, it's it's working against muscle memory, right? You're seeing, yeah. you're seeing the enemy, you're like, oh, I got a dodge roll. Nope, there's a meteor. Yeah. I got it. I got it. It's the same visual as the side. Look on the end of your buff uh, timers. The the black circle with the sun around it. You see that? The meteor's coming. Oh. Same timer as well. Um, for how fast you're gonna kill it. I can't cry abilities, mate. But there we go. Why mess with perfection? Why right? Watch out, watch out, watch out. Fire. That's right, that's right. I mean, if you familiarize yourself with it and stick it in a different room, it's still difficult. You just know how to do it. Yeah. Like, hey, I hate that mechanic. Thanks for putting it in a room for the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it. Four yeah. seconds. Three, two, dead. All right, come the big boy. I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Ow! Woo, I'm Are we dead? <gasps> Excuse me, panic. <laughs> Scrabbing buttons. I, I like it. Yeah, right when I right when I use my other ultimate, somebody dies. I'm like, all right, well, I guess. Have some more deeps. No, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Valina's dead. Ooh. 
Good Yay. job. If Strago comes out here, you can complete the we quest here. Mazandi comes back, gives him the Dominant. itinerant staff. And that's all good. Now, you guys kind of talked about it and mentioned it a little bit when we walked into this room, but this room does highlight, like, just being able to kind of visualize some of what Mephala's realm looks like. This is this room, I think, highlights I love that getting Resto well. Star this first cool. drop on PTS. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think I might have got the same. <laughs> I love that. Nice stuff. <laughs> so, uh, so this is this space is really cool. Now I did talk about Balsanar a little bit, um, mm -hmm. but I will give you a rundown on the story there, uh, unless you don't want me to spoil it for you. Um, okay, so Balsanar, you go to investigate uh, a time anomaly uh, with the Sigic Order, and as you go through the dungeon and the Sigic Order tries to unravel the time anomaly they found, you actually experience that town Balsanar in three different time periods. So you go to it in the present time, and then you run Ravel a little bit, and you go to Balsanar in the past when it was just being constructed, and different pathways are open to you. And then you go to the distant future where you get to see the doom of Balsanar and the Dunmer have now uh, relegated themselves to uh, worshipping Periite. Uh, and you go and uh, unravel the time uh, anomaly for the final time, and then it brings you back to the current timeline. Ooh. So, yeah, Balsanar, you get to experience three different time periods. Uh, what you get in there is something called the Onyx Glyphic, or what is uncovered in there is the Onyx Glyphic, and that'll be important for when you do the prologue for the chapter. Same with this, the Itinerant Staff is uh, it will play a, a part in the, uh, <clears throat> in the prologue here. What it is and what it does. You're doing the, uh, the emote you get, right? Yeah. Memento. Yeah, you get the, or yeah, the memento. You get a memento in here for, uh, I'm actually wearing the skin that you would get from Balsanar. The, the like, gray skin with the green tattoos. Dedicated to Periite. And then the two dungeons lead into the prologue, which leads into the chapter. It's all, we're doing the same thing we have. Where yep. everything is an optional, cool ass story by itself, but also ties in and gives you more context for the entire story arc. Yep. Well, this so, was fun. We had some wipes, but uh, we did it. It was great. We, we know Def speedrunned it. Yeah, um, we did. <laughs> this. You are throwing um, some extra shapes around here because this is very large and very dramatic for a dungeon. <laughs> It is very mm. big, yes. It was like a trial. <laughs> Should we make a, a, a trial or just make a really cool dungeon with a trial size room in it? Uh, yeah, I mean, whenever we have the, the opportunity, like it, it's, it's always the challenge. People ask us that all the time. It's like, oh, you come up with new stuff. And I'm like, well, it, you know, it's it's really the designers that, that kind of envision some of these things and, and, and how to put it together. What I like I really like about Scriveners is, is you get to see, you know, each of the the section. So you have the first section where you're kind of going through the library, and then you have the second section where you, you go to the Deadlands. And then the thir third section takes place almost entirely in in Spiral Skeen and Mephala's Realm. And they, so they're very distinct uh, every time you're going to, to any one of those. Um, really, You can really tell, it's like, oh, we were going to the second boss, we're definitely in the Deadlands. So. You know the housing community is going to go mental for this one. <laughs> That's what it is. We just write checks for the housing team is really what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to do anything. Go and take the day off. We're designing a, a room for you. Make some chairs later. Uh, yeah, this is a, this 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 room actually turned out really, really awesome. Uh, for sure. <clears throat> Alright, you got any other questions for us? You two go. I talk too much. <sighs> It's hard because I don't want to do story spoilers. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I just I really like uh, the environments here, and with the the fights, it seems like you're going back to some basics that people should know, but challenging them to just execute them a bit more perfectly. So it's not yeah. crazy complicated fights, and it's quite satisfying because as we go through, it's nothing too much to remember. But once you get it down. It yeah, has a really nice flow to it as well. Right, yeah, and uh, and and I know that uh, Kay, you mentioned that you're like, oh, well, I'm a more of a visual learner, and I think that you get some of those uh, aspects of it, especially with the second boss, where you're like, oh, I get it, I get what's going on here, I see how this is working. Except for that 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 pulled into the middle one, that one's that one's uh, that one throws people for a loop. <laughs> that, one's, that was really cool. I like that. 
I'm kind of sad we only got it once. <laughs> if the lava circle spawned right in the path of where you're being pulled in. Yes, you do get hit by that lava too. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's why I said it's very... Uh, there's there's different challenges for, for people in, in these fights, and, and for tanks in particular. In uh, the first boss, for instance, the boss will teleport away and then put a little blockable thing down that you have to stand in as a tank. Mm -hmm. So... As a tank, I have to pay attention to that, and then the second boss, I have to position it so the lava pools don't overwhelm everybody in the re in, in the in the space. And then here is uh, positioning the spider to, to get into the ice traps and uh, facing uh, the boss away from everybody else because it's going to do that that cone effect. So, yeah, challenging the different roles is uh, is, is something we, we definitely strive for. I mean, you look like you've done that already in this one because usually you have you maybe you'll have one rather. Um, maneuverability based kind of mm -hmm. interaction whereas every single one of those bosses was a vast area with mm -hmm. lots of stuff going on and lots of movement there yeah. wasn't really much of an opportunity apart from perhaps on the first boss if you get brave to to kind of stack and burn yeah um the amount of space is insane but also um while they're the relatively new mechanics they do look like they're things you have seen and you if you recognize it you kind of Right there, kind of like Dawn right. said a moment ago. It's pretty cool. I think Brandon said something. <laughs> there he's gone again. <laughs> um, but one of the harsh ones, I gotta say, and, I, and you've already pointed it out that I do think people are gonna definitely trip up on to start with, is the mixture between um, Galcha Bar's um, big boom on the island and um the last boss in vdsa is sucking mechanic because you kind of stacked the two together you did the firewall and the breathe-in both at the same time it's quite nasty yeah yeah and that's one of those ones that it's it's a funny one because it's it's uh i know jeremy hates it when we when we do a learn by dying type thing but that's one of those things of like yeah you're gonna need to to kind of figure that out that if you're too close to him when he does this that you want to run to the outside of the arena and stuff so yeah i think you've kind of got something for everyone as well like all roles kind of have a a place uh -huh. um everyone needs to work together you've got something for everyone that hasn't seen stuff like this before but then for those that do vet dungeons or even regular dungeons or trials or anything like that you've kind of managed to put together enough bits and pieces for them to go i yeah. know what this is and yeah. that makes people kind of familiar with something brand new yeah and there's also sprinkles in here for hard mode too like when you're in mm -hmm. when you're in hard yeah, mode uh Valina will do these rolling boulder effects which will uh, basically emerge uh from her from the meteor and they'll just they'll just roll across and they'll knock you off the platform so mm -hmm. it's another wrinkle that you have to pay attention to throughout the fight not just her positioning and where the meteor is and stuff but you have to pay attention to these boulders that are kind of rolling across the the fight space too i do have to admit i love the fact you can fall off just about everything yeah <laughs> Golden sky shard moments all day. There you go. There's a chest. There's a chest down there. If you guys want to go get it. Oh yeah. Let me just go find it. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. You got I've already it. Oh, I found yeah, it. You found it. You found it. Oh, couldn't, unlo <laughs> couldn't unlock it before you turned into a pile of goo. All right. You guys go. I'll be there all day. <laughs> if you do like have any questions, um. That you think of after this session as well just fire them over to um uh i, I don't know which name you use ophelia um or nika obviously yeah. um and then casey or myself e any of us is totally cool just fire our questions over and then we can get them answered for you if you can't think of any now in the other dungeon when you mess around with time does it affect yeah. anything in 1985 it does um the clock tower is already destroyed and uh yeah, <clears throat> yeah, right, right. No, the uh, so the other one is is pretty interesting because you do get to see Valsnar. Like you'll recognize the town, um, in different aspects of time, but it, uh, different pathways open up. Like and when you're in the present time, if you go over this bridge, you'll notice this like lava flow. Um, but then in the past, that lava flow isn't there, and there's a cave that you're actually going to go into in the past. So you wouldn't be able to ex access that in the present, and then in the future. There's another cave that you could see in the present that didn't have a pathway to, but they've since excavated that out, and there was actually a Daedric Temple there. So you go to this whole other section that's a Daedric Temple. But you can see it in, in, in all three, in various forms of modern times, which is where, or the current time, which is 
you know, uh, it's it's a Dunmer village. It looks like a Dunmer village. And in the past, it's still being built. Um, you know, so the Three. buildings are half built. The tower that you're in is half built. And then in the future, it's like I said, end of days. It's everything's on fire. There's poison pools all over the place. So it's. Uh, so you redesigned it three times. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah. Nuts. I always want to ask if there was any kind of puzzle solving with the the time magic that's going on, where you have to be like, oh, we can't get across here. Let's go back in time so that there is uh, a bridge there and that kind of we thing. We don't we don't do it as a as a manner of players able to dictate it, but there is. <laughs> That is built into it. So when you first get into it, you walk over this bridge and you go into this tower and you fight this boss and then you unravel a little bit. And as you walk out of that uh, tower, that bridge that was built that you went into the present time isn't there. So you actually have to go down into the ravine that was there and, and go down a completely different path. But then when you teleport to the future, you use the, the bucket from the well in the in the town that you recognize and you go back up to the center of the town and then you're like, oh, and now everything looks different and on fire and stuff but there's different pathways that are open so uh we don't do it as a player directed uh way to do it but we do uh as part of the story as you're going through that absolutely happens oh nice that's cool and we did mention uh puzzles uh side content uh is not always uh bosses and stuff so a lot of times we do and when we first did it on unhallowed grave it's essentially three different bosses that should uh uh that you had to fight and stuff, but we we we've, we've ventured out uh, recently and then uh, perhaps in some of these two dungeons that where it's not just bosses that you'll encounter. It's uh, sometimes it's puzzles and things to figure out. That dungeon literally set the bar for your secrets. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was the first one we did it on, so <laughs> it was mental. We well, had the ones for the the Indrix in um, March sacrifices, but that. Um, yes, you're right. You're right. We did do that. The secret yeah. stages in Unhallowed Grave. I felt like I was cheating to start yeah. with. I thought, why am I going through this hole? Am I around the back of the map? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yes, since then, they've got nuts. So so this one in particular, when you guys get a chance to, to run through it and stuff like that, it's really worth it. You can take a look at some of the achievements to, to get a glimpse at to what potentially it is. But there's a lot of stuff to, to this dungeon in particular, what, what you can do in here. So. Well, yeah, no, sweet. I mean, I'm just conscious of yep. the time because yep. we've gone sort of like a hour and ten minutes, and this is, as I said before, like a last session after like a long month of, of <laughs> doing these PTSD you guys run these dungeons so many times now. Um, but it's always good to show people, like you say. Um, yep. I just really appreciate, you know, you three for coming by, and also uh, Mike, and, uh, Mike and Jeremy for their time. So, yeah, no, it's been great. Awesome. Thanks, folks. Thank, Thank you very much Thank for having so us. Much. Yep. Thanks See ya. Thanks for terrifying Goodbye. me. Nah, no problem. <laughs> well, that was it. We did it. We defeated the creepy spiders, and I was absolutely disgusted with most of it. So, you know, it's all good. Um, gross. I had a fantastic time though. Thank you to the lovely Elder Scrolls Online team and especially to Finn and Jeremy for taking us through the dungeon. And thank you to Zynode and Dawn for being great sports and uh, trusting me to heal them. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at 12.30 p.m. GMT. You can also find me in all the places in the link below. Until next time, goodbye. Fishy, 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 fish, fish! Fishy, 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 fishing! Fishing, fish, fish, fishing, fishing! The fish, fish, and fishing in the Elder Scrolls line! Fish, 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 Let's go!